Hey, what's up everybody? We're bringing back a segment we used to do back in the day. This is the cup recap of the race before. This week they were in Daytona International Speedway and they did the road course, which was pretty cool for me. I'm a big uh, 24 hours of Daytona fan and I always wanted to see the cup cars run that course. And so this was pretty cool for me. Uh, the race itself wasn't really all that exciting. Either Chase Elliott, uh, Martin Truex, or Denny Hamlin were pretty much leading for most of the race and they had the best cars. Uh, Truex sort of shot himself in the foot and Hamlin didn't quite have enough right there at the very end and uh, Chase Elliott of course won the race. Uh, some other uh, storylines from that, the points situation, uh, William Byron uh, remains the last car in and Jimmy Johnson moved himself up to the last man out. So that could get pretty interesting going into Dover, where Jimmy Johnson is really good. He's won a bunch of races there, and he's got two shots to get one. So that point situation could shake up next race, but uh, Jimmy Johnson improved his place, and Byron held on. Uh, Eric Jones slipped a little bit, and uh, Matt Benedetto actually gave up a bunch of points too. But uh, that was the point situation. Uh, the other big story uh, from this was... Everybody was sort of expecting Kyle Busch to run really well because he had run the 24-hour race there uh, earlier this year. Um, and he had a good car. He was running really well, but he had some sort of brake issue going on. He wrecked uh, two or three times by himself. And uh, sort, of, sort of toward the end of the, or sort of in the middle of the race, he had like a catastrophic brake failure where both of his back tires blew out and just everything went all to hell uh so i don't know really what happened there it was it's pretty weird but had some kind of mechanical issue he was fighting but he had a really good car he was up there he was fighting uh before the uh brake issue started messing him up so uh he, he was the odds on favorite going in but uh certainly the day and this year pretty much did not go his way uh but the the story i really wanted to touch on out of that race was the guy filling in for austin dillon kaz Grala. He had a heck of a race. My man finished ninth in his first ever cup race. Okay, so who is Kaz Grala? Okay, well first off, he's a kid from Boston who started racing go-karts at the age of four. I think by the age of 10, he was in Bandoleros. And uh, in 2012, he, become, he became the youngest winner of the winter heat in Charlotte in the legend cars. He followed that up in 2013 by becoming the youngest UARA winner when he won the race at Hickory, which he started developing a trend here. He followed that UARA youngest winner up by becoming the youngest winner in trucks in 2017 when he won the race at Daytona. After the truck series, he moved on to the Xfinity series where he drove for JGL. He drove for JGL for a little while in Xfinity, then JGL closed their doors. He uh, worked out a deal with Fury, and he raced with Fury, I think, for the rest of that season. Uh, with some really old equipment. I think a lot of people have heard this story. He was in like a 10-year-old car, and he got a top five finish at Daytona. So he was making the most out of his equipment even back then. Then after that is when he signed with RCR as a part-time deal. So he's a part-time Xfinity guy. He took all of his uh, sponsorship that he had with the Fury ride and went to RCR with it, and now he's just a part-time guy. And uh, when, with Austin getting sick with the COVID deal, he filled in for Austin Dillon. And in his first cup race ever, the guy gets a ninth place finish at a course that nobody had ever seen before, at least on a cup car. I think he's had a couple starts there in some other series and, and things like that. Uh, but pretty, pretty amazing uh, feat for this guy. And it's really cool to see something like this happen. This guy's probably got a lot of pressure on him. He doesn't have a full-time deal in anything and he gets this opportunity and he absolutely makes the most of it. This is one of the great things about racing. This is one of those stories you like to see. So uh, my big story out of the cup weekend was uh, Kaz Grala. I think he overshadows even Chase Elliott winning the race because this is just such a great story. So that was awesome to see. And uh, that's pretty much the end of it. I like to keep these recaps short and sweet. Uh, I, don't, I don't like these long YouTube videos that drag on. But anyway, that's the end of this. Uh, so that's the end of this. But you can check us out Wednesday, Facebook Live. This is where we talk about our short track stuff, which is what most of you know, know us for. But like I said, we are bringing this segment back, and we're, we're trying to get this going once again. All right, peace. Thanks for your time.